But uh, as, as you mentioned in the beginning of the segment, both sides blame the United States for what they see as backing the other side. So the Morsi government, uh, which, uh, the, and the Muslim Brotherhood, cannot see a scenario in which the military stepped in without getting a green light from its U.S. paymasters. And on the other side, Tamarud and, and other groups uh, are very critical of what they see as a very warm embrace of the Obama administration of the Muslim Brotherhood and Morsi very quickly. So we have this, uh, this very, very palpable anger against the United States that I haven't seen at, at this level uh, before since I've been here. Uh, and as far as the Muslim Brotherhood goes forward, I think as an organization, this is a very, very pivotal moment for them. And I think what they, they're fighting for now is to not be, uh, not to go back to the repression that they were under for 30 years, well, really for 60 years, under these autocratic regimes, to be able to participate in the political process. And uh, I think if the army continues to try and crack down on them and to finish them off, that will only really hardline, uh, serve to make them more hardline. Uh, and would uh, would marginalize reformist voices within the movement. And we've seen that happen so many times. Uh, and this latest conservative wing that is, has taken over the leadership in the last few years, I think, is a result of so much repression under Mubarak. And if this uh, repression continues under this military regime, then uh, I think we're going to see them. Uh, we won't see much reform, or reform will be, will be held off from within the movement. 